Hey guys, welcome back to Breath of the Wild Hardcore Mood. Um, I can't cook anything or use the targeting. I don't know whether or not it's, I don't think it's that, because that's the, is it L? I forget. I'm going to check just to make sure. Where's my, okay. Fucking phone's going off. I think it's Halifax again. Yeah, so we're going to fucking go to the shrine. Um, yeah, no cooking and no targeting. That's what I was doing. I was looking for the button. Fucking... How do I do it? <laughs> ah, here we go. How do I target? Where's the magic? Oh, is this it as well? Huh. Okay, so I just won't use that owl when I'm around enemies, but then I can't use my shield. I don't know. We'll figure it out. She could slate confirmed. Shall we do okay? Access granted. Ooh. Let me in. Open up. Let's go, Lank. Can I switch my like arms? Okay. Right, we're just gonna go into here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's weird that the technology is all so cool. <laughs> like, because it looks kind of electric. Like there's some sort of electricity or something going on. There's some sort of something going on. This doesn't look as old timey as it's making out because there's like light, neon lights and stuff. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Omar now. In the name of the goddess Hylia something something, I didn't read all of it. Magnesia's trial! Okay. In the Oman R shrine. Or shrine? I don't know. I'm probably gonna butcher these pronunciations. Sheikah Slate Authenticated. Distilling rune. There's runes inside this thing? I'm gonna ruin this whole, this whole game. Da -da 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 There it is. Manipulate metallic objects using magnetism. Grab onto metallic objects using the magnetic energy that pours forth from the magnesis ruin. Objects held in the magnetic snare can be lifted and moved free. Rune extracted. Cool. Yay. Oh my god. I am a god. <laughs> what the fuck? I can destroy and move, I can move the floor? Who needs a hook shot? I can move the floor! That's, okay, that's the wrong button. Last time I did this, I fucking almost killed myself by drop, accidentally dropping one of those, like, platforms on me. And nearly dying, because of it. Alright, I don't have a whole lot of health and I can't target this thing, and it's got lasers! It's like a mini ver- there's like a boss later on, and it's like- that's like a mini version of it. Ancient Spring. Another Ancient Spring. I- I've, uh, practiced this, so... Uh, that's good. We're going to get- eventually get to a point that I haven't actually seen or practiced. I keep forgetting that I don't have to hold the button. I'm just not very good at this. There you go, that'll do. <laughs> that'll do. Open the doors! Open the doors! Open sesame. And five minutes in and we're done with the first, well, dungeon, I suppose. Mini dungeon. Shrine. I'm going to try and go into all the, as many shrines as possible. Find out why in a minute. You've proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. Okay. Thank you, weird old lady. I am Oman R, the creator of this trial. Cool. I am a humble monk, blessed with the sight of Goddess Hylia, and dedicated to helping Ganon, someone who's gonna help us kill Ganon. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. I wish it wouldn't, I wish it just let me progress the talking. In the name of Goddess Hylia, allow me to bestow this gift upon you. 
Okay, bestow it upon me. Please accept this spirit orb. Okay, these things. So I'm probably going to do as many shrines as I can see, as I see, as I can find them, because they're. We got a spirit orb. Because these spirit orbs are very important. May the goddess smile upon you. Thank you. I'm sure she will. Is that the May the Force be with you of this game? Mario Galaxy and Mario Galaxy 2 have the, have the um, May the Stars shine down on you. Hello? Is it you? Is it Mr. Old Man again? Here he is. Give me that hand glider. I did the thing you wanted. Give me, give me. I can move the camera during the cutscene? Oh my god. Seems you managed to get your hands on a spear door. Well done. Paraglider, please. Give me a paraglider. I encourage you to slow down for a moment, my courage, courageous friend. The appearance of those towels and the awakening of the shrine. It is all connected to that Sheikah slate. You carry on your hip there. Paraglider, please. Come on, we had a deal. I've yet finished speaking. I have yet to start gliding. <laughs> Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. Their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think how something like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across the land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines, and I will give you my paraglider. That wasn't the deal. Oh, well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that would be a problem for a young go-getter like you. Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick to finding shrines. It's always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm afraid not. But do not worry. I have another little trick to share with you for your effort. Take a look at the map on the Sheikah Slate. Is he going to teach me how to tra fast travel now? I think he's going to teach me how to fast travel. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you woke the, shri woke the shrine you came from and the tower. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah Slate. Cool. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. Why do I keep spinning? Alright, we can fast travel now! Let's go to the top. I'm not climbing that tower again. Fuck that. I won't be doing that changing focus thing that just came up on the screen because I'd have to target to do that. I'm talking. Hello! Surprised it took you so long to catch up with an old man like me. I was five seconds. Did you fucking fly here? Do you think an old man like me used to fly to stay ahead of you? I still have a few tricks left in me. Now then. Only to join me up here so you, you could use this as a vantage point to search for shrines. How the fuck did you get up here, seriously? Did you know about the scope on your Sheikah Slate? Can this guy teleport? Like, look through it and you can stick a pin anywhere you'd like on the mark on the map. Okay. Pins on your map serve as a reference point for your travels. Just stick a pin anywhere you're interested in. How the fuck do you know? There's a few tricks I've picked up after many, many years in the wild. You may take my advice or leave it. Go ahead and take a look if you feel inclined to do so. Oh my god, that's cute. Right, there's one in like a maze thing. There's one up there. There's one up there. I'm spotting them everywhere. Um, I'm not, that looks like quite a drop. I think I'm going to fast travel again. Back there. Oh my god. Right, let's go find a thing. Whoa, let's get out of there, that's gross. Let's have a look at the map. Let's have a look at the map. That's where I woke up. Maybe I should walk to there then. Let's go to there. Stop telling me about cooking, I'm not doing any cooking. So yeah, I'll nope. <laughs> look at all these tips I can't use. I wonder if there will be a point where you have to revisit this shrine. I've run out of that stamina, I know. I'm too tired to do certain actions, oh no, whatever will I do? Oh, I keep forgetting to check my thingy thing. Is he here? How are you back here? Hello again. Hello, so we meet again. What are you doing? Just feeling a chill. Fire, a campfire is a wonderful place to pass the time. It's easy to lose track of the hours. 
So I think you're trying to tell me that you can pass time with a campfire. Oh god. Bats look weird in this game. Give me more. Bro, I wanna see what this tower's business is. I got herbs. What on earth? Whoa! Oh god, the skeletons come out at night. What is happening? Oh Jesus. Ah. I got his arm. There's another one there. Cool. I can throw weapons? Jesus. So many options. Ew. It must be good for something. Let's see if I can get to the top of this. Yeah. Is this the one I've this is the one I've already been to, never mind. Let me have a look. There it is, that's the one we want. Okay. Now I've put, I've played up to this shrine a couple times. So I know what to expect. There is a boss around here somewhere. If I'm incredibly lucky. Oh, that's him, that's him, that's him, that's him. If I'm incredibly lucky, I can get through here without waking him up. Because I'm not ready to fight a boss with three hearts. I found it, but can I get inside it? Alright, we'll take these guys. Oh no, my sword's broke! I'll grab this one. I got a new one! Almost instantly. Did I win? I got another shield. I can't get any more, any more melee weapons. All right, uh, well, let's just, I mean, have I got any really bad ones? What have we got? Five, 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 five. I'm gonna hold on to the, uh, whoa, what was that? Oh, the spear. Okay, well then I'll just leave that there then. Right, we're gonna call this one here, and in the next one we're gonna go into the shrine. And I'll be two shrines down by the next episode. So if you enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, subscribe, and in the next one, we are going to open the shrine. See you later, guys.